Okay, so uh, mm -hmm. wondering, maybe you, uh, you know, you want to go out sometime. Yeah, I would. <sighs> so why don't you call me and we'll make a date? Right. Okay. Huh. What up, yeah? This your boy Ace here, and woke up to after news to like. Let's talk about this potential new love interest for Archer, bro. Um, so. The episode started where Sean was celebrating his one year anniversary of being sober. Uh, he blew out a candle, surrounded around, uh, you know, obviously Archer and some friends. I guess that we had the sobering group. Uh, Asher was even there as well. And, uh, you know, he blew out the candle, whatever. And then that's when Margot, Dr. Margot uh, Collins was starting to talk to. Archer, uh, she talked about where the good men that you know she talked. I guess she's a Cubs fan, so she was talking about uh, you know wanting to go to a Cubs game with you know a man out there or whatever. And she said that she had to wait to open the day, which is right around the corner. Uh, in real life, anyways, I think, I, think uh, I forgot exactly when the Cubs home opener is but i know baseball season starts like next week uh i think it's like next thursday i think it's like next thursday and so anyways uh they started talking about that and then they met up again at the end uh they were talking about something that she was about to leave and then uh archer uh got the cojones to actually ask her you know hey you want to want to go out sometime and uh and date it looks like these two are Probably going to be put together, man. And it, and it's good for Archer because since he's been on the show, he really, you know, hasn't had a love interest. And, I, and, and you know, they, they were never going to be able to do anything with um him and Archer. It's just that just the age thing would have made people sick. You know what I mean? <laughs> the age thing would have made people sick. So I just knew they weren't going to do anything there. But it was still interesting that, you know, he hadn't really had anybody on the show that he could hook up with. You know what I mean? So it looks like Margot's going to be that woman for him. And I'm interested to see how this is going to go. Um, because I do think those two have a little bit of chemistry already. I think they got some chemistry there already. So I'm kind of feeling the dynamics between the both of them. And uh, I do hope that uh, they end up hooking up. Because remember, last year they had Liliana, who we actually saw Liliana and Dr. Charles were in today's episode. This is the first time I had seen Liliana this season, I believe. I, I believe this was the first time I seen her this season. Um, and I didn't even know he, her and uh, Dr. Archer were still together. Because I know they had that little fight last year uh, with the, when the brother uh, came to Chicago and got in between their relationship. And she started doing some different things with Dr. Charles where she, you know... Their, their relationship was starting to get off the hinges. So, yeah, man. Um, so, we'll see how this goes. Because I like that. It, it reminded me of the spark that they had when they first really started getting involved. So, let's see how this goes with him and Margot. Pretty sure we're going to see more of her because of Archer. So, let's see how this goes forward, man. Let me know early on what y'all think of them in the, you know, in the early onset, man. The comment section, man. We're going here to get this video. Like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news to like. Now, let's talk about Hannah and Ripley at the end. Because that, that's definitely what I want to talk about right now. Thank y'all for watching. After news tonight.